Hey, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll, and I have the esteemed honor and privilege of being with Dr. Cale Bigelow at Purdue University in his horticultural building in, uh, in these hallowed halls of knowledge. And I'm going to give Cale a few minutes to uh, tell me what he thinks, or tell you what he thinks is really important for you to know as we move into the springtime. Cale? Well, Rick, welcome back to uh, the great state of Indiana, the crossroads yep. of America, right? Mm, I mean, that, that is, uh, I yes. believe, the uh, tagline for the state of Indiana. It so if, if you're on I-70 or I-69 <laughs> or I-65 or I-74, you'll eventually cross roads into uh, Indianapolis. Correct. So good, good time. So you can yeah. get here. Um, so we're a different climate than you, but uh, I do follow a lot of the things that uh, you and your colleagues are posting related to growing degree days and everything else, and I, I think that that's, that's some important information. I saw one of our uh, golf course managers from northern Indiana close to the uh, Michigan border uh, had posted something just the other day that yes. he, uh, he had one of his earliest uh, seed head suppression applications go out in quite some time. So, uh, you know, whether you want to uh, talk a little bit about, you know, warming temperatures and warming climates and all those other kinds of things, it's, it, it, it's definitely on people's minds with respect to uh, uh, our friends that are doing this uh, for a living. Yes. Um, you know, we won't go into climate change because I know fights will break out. Yeah, we're not, uh, not that that's ever bothered me. But, but we do uh, watch the weather. Yes, we, we, do, we do watch the weather occasionally. Um, but yeah, it, it's, 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 it's unique. And, and as we compare, and, and obviously Cale got his PhD at North Carolina State University. I got my undergraduate at Purdue uh, back when it was a, a community college. Well, not really, but a, a long, long time ago. And uh, so we have this linkage and, and we communicate a lot, but even though we have this transition uh, from, from significantly different climates, uh, there's some commonalities and, and that's important that we understand how it all fits in our particular location. So I'll give you a few more seconds because people don't listen very long. Well, you know, closing I, I, comments. Uh, well, geez, we're already to that I'm point. Sorry. Okay, I'm no, sorry. I get more than a minute. So, okay, you do. Uh, yeah, you know, a couple things I think that people certainly would be thinking about, you know, as we're going into springtime is, you know, to seed or not to seed. You know, we have a lot, mostly cool season lawns here in, in, the, uh, in, in Indiana, and, and the last couple summers have actually been drier than normal. So people that maybe had put down some seed without success because they don't have an irrigation system, mm -hmm. uh, there's probably s still some thin areas out there. So this is a good time of year to kind of go to the garden centers and, and purchase high quality seed, you know, things that maybe don't have a lot of annual ryegrass in it. So that's the kind of thing that somebody can do. We get okay. 60 degrees next week. You would get a little bit of germination over the next month. Um, you know, other things is uh, usually we're talking about uh, fertilizer pallets moving into the garden centers right now, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're still encouraging people to delay those applications, at least here in Indiana. Maybe in North Carolina, they're already starting to think about some of those things. But, you know, I would certainly be delaying at least for a month, you know, before putting any fertilizer out into my lawn at this point, just okay. from the standpoint of water quality issues. You know, that was something that I learned quite a bit about there in North Carolina when I did my PhD, all the uh, nutrient enrichment associated with Raleigh, uh, or uh, uh, potentially associated with Raleigh and urbanization and things that were happening there and the mm -hmm. projects that were going on uh, down at the coast looking at some of those factors. But we don't want to do anything this time of year that's going to potentially jeopardize our, our water quality uh, here in Indiana. Okay. All right. Other Thank stuff. you, Kale. Hey, anytime. I'm glad you came by. All right. And Good hopefully you. uh, you'll cheer the boilers on to a big win tonight. Going to a ball game tonight. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, hope that's helpful. Look forward to talking with you again soon.